So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here girl, my name is Lucy. I always say to stay, subscribe, we always have a good time on this channel. So by the title, you already know what this video is about, right? But I'm not quite sure what I'm going to title it yet. I will be speaking on prioritizing yourself, focusing on yourself. It is a new year, you guys. We're at a point where you need to figure out what will happen for the rest of the year, um, how you want to set up yourself, what are your goals? What are you hoping to achieve by the end of 2022? So we're also at that point where you decide to show yourself love from the beginning till the end of the year and obviously moving forward. We're also at that point where you decide to take on a new task, where you decide to start a new journey, where you decide to be a completely different person, better yourself, self-improvement and all that good stuff. And you guys know that that is my specialty. We're going to talk about focusing on yourself, making yourself the main character in your life understanding yourself, loving yourself, giving yourself all the things that you deserve. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Now, let's talk about it from my point of view because you all know that with my channel, I like to personalize it because I just want you to understand that I have been there, I am still going through it, I am in this journey, so I'm bringing you into my life and as well as I'm trying to get into yours. We're doing this together, that's what this is basically, like we are doing all of this together and I want it to be a thing where you feel safe, you feel comfortable, you feel like you're not alone because despite the fact that I'm sitting right here in front of the camera having this conversation with you, I'm human been there done that still going through it so i'm vulnerable enough to share my experiences which is what i will do you know that you all know that i felt like i made the right choices i felt like i did the right things i felt like i was putting myself out there i felt like i was doing the things that were best for me i felt like i had everything figured out but obviously that was me thinking that i was perfect when in reality i wasn't now not putting yourself first not seeing yourself and when i mean not seeing yourself i'm not saying that you know you stand in front of the mirror and you're not seeing yourself because quite all right you are seeing yourself because obviously it's your reflection right but i'm talking about really seeing yourself seeing yourself for who you are seeing yourself for everything that you are made of seeing yourself for every aspect of who you truly are seeing yourself as far I am a beautiful girl. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Seeing yourself as well, I have imperfections, I have flaws, but that's who I am. That's what makes me unique. That's what makes me Lucy. I didn't, sis, I didn't see myself. I usually thought that I was this somewhat selfish person when it came to decision making because I like to fix things. I like to fix people. I like to arrange things. I like to make put things the way I want them to be. So in that way, I never thought that it could ever be possible for me to be that person seated here letting you know that I was in that position where I wasn't prioritizing myself. And I'm so sure a lot of you are in the same situation. I'm gonna be honest with you, no matter how correct you seem, how you know you put your thoughts right there in front, you put your wants and your needs on the table, you could still be in a position where you are just not putting yourself and your actual needs first. I'm gonna tell you how. Now, I'm gonna give you, I think, five or six tips on how you could put yourself first, how you could prioritize yourself, how you could make you the main character of your own life. Let's get into the first tip. The first recommendation I have for you is to be comfortable being alone. Accept yourself, accept your space. Hey guys, this is the most important thing for me and it's coming first on this list because there are a lot of us that feel like being alone isn't a problem there are a lot of us that it's just like oh i can handle it i could chest it like i could do this for myself like <laughs> the fuck i can do it but can you actually though and now that's the thing i've never been that one person to be like i mean i can do all of it by myself i can stay by myself i can travel by myself i can eat by myself that was me talking from a point of view where i had people around me so i imagined them not being there and I'm like, I'm gonna be fine if they're not there. I'm an independent woman, a black, strong, independent woman. And that's what I usually tell myself. Like, I'm not even joking. That's what I'll tell myself. I'm a black, strong, independent woman. Like, I could I could do all of this. 
But when it came down to it, sis, <laughs> things are easier said than done. You realize that you've always had people around, you've always had that one person that would do this with you, do this for you. So you're telling yourself that, yeah, you have that aspect of your life that you fix shit, you get things done. So if that person wasn't there, you could handle it. But then you don't know how it would feel like if that person is not there. Learn to enjoy your own company. Learn to accept being alone, even if you have the support system, even if you have somebody there, even if you have a spouse, even if you have a husband. Enjoy your space, enjoy your time. Because to be honest with us, there is nothing that is promised. If there's anything that is constant in life, you all know that it's change. You don't know exactly where you'd be tomorrow, what position that you might be. And not being able to cope by yourself is the most difficult thing that you'd have to deal with. I learned this the hard way. And this comes from someone, someone that is very strong. I consider myself a really strong person. I consider myself someone who, I'm, I'm the hardest to crack. Wallahi. And that doesn't mean that I don't break down. It doesn't mean that I'm not crying. It doesn't mean that I don't share or express emotions. I actually do. I'm a tough cookie. I'm a really tough cookie. But if I tell you that I experienced that problem of adjusting to accepting my space, my time, girl, then you know damn well that it's serious. Go on trips. I have this goal for the year 2022 to travel more and when I mean travel more I'm not calling up my friends and whoever to come with me solo travel it is scary because you're going to somewhere completely new by yourself I understand that but the thing is you push yourself because to be honest you are alone in this world like you might have people that love you genuinely around you people that support you you have family and all that but there is just one you they just want Lucy. So basically, you are your own self and you should need, you should be able to handle yourself without anything or anyone around you to lean on. Take yourself out on dates. I have spoken about real self-care before. I've spoken about taking care of yourself. Solo travel, solo date, solo this, solo movie night, solo everything. Learn to accept your space, your time. Be comfortable with your own company. If you do it one time, two times, three times, sis, you have this mental shift positively that you're not even going to, you're not going to understand how it's going to come to you, but that's exactly what you need to kickstart this prioritizing yourself journey. Now, which leads to my second recommendation, self-care. I'm pretty sure you already had this coming, like you saw it coming. There's absolutely no way that I would talk about prioritizing yourself, focusing on yourself, and I'm not going to talk about self-care. I haven't mentioned it before, like a couple minutes ago. I did that. Self-care, prioritize self-care in your life. Take care of yourself. You are beautiful. You're gorgeous. Sis, you need to maintain that level of beauty. Whatever makes you happy, Whatever it is that gives you joy, you do it. Make yourself the center, make yourself the focus. Ask yourself, would this make me feel good? If it does, do it, period. See, focusing on yourself and prioritizing yourself means that you're going to be selfish most of the time. And that is okay as long as it is positive type of selfish. You're not hurting somebody being selfish, so that is fine. Pick a day in the week make it a me day and i swear on everything i do this to the point that i feel like people around me they get sick of it i love me days i love spa days i love you know treating myself waxing i might not have anyone who would you know feel my skin all that and you might not either but i'm not doing it for anyone and you should not be doing it for anyone but yourself wax laser nails hair makeup all of those like sis i've said this before if you want to boost your self-esteem you want to feel confident as a woman you want to you want to see yourself for who you truly are which i know definitely you're beautiful you need to take care of yourself take care of yourself appreciate yourself appreciate your beauty appreciate the creation that god ha has spent beautiful time creating okay 
self-care days whatever it is that it, that is self-care to you if it means even taking some time to read a book do it have a me day label it lucy day kate's day amaka's day melissa's day label it that and work and call accordingly anything that makes you happy that day do it let's get into my third recommendation now my third recommendation is staying true to yourself now i'm gonna be vulnerable right now i'm not a yes woman i don't kiss anybody's ass i, I usually would see myself as a genuine person i would see myself as someone who is hard a tough cookie hard to break i always say that this is who i am and you say that you love me or you hate me but that's just that's just what it is positively and respectfully actually but there was this aspect of me that would lean to someone's opinion or lean to a certain situation that would make me want to conform to a certain situation or a certain event if that makes sense so what this means is despite the fact that i had all of this like this is who i am this is how i come this is how i was created i had all of this in my head but there's this part of me that sometimes if not you know one too many times i would have this thing where someone's opinion or just my environment at a certain time would trigger a different side of me just to fit into that particular situation does that make sense i hope it does this is the thing because i am trying to be accepted in that situation or be like the situation i kind of lose a piece of me or two or even three doing that and later on adjusting back to who i fully am is hard think about it you're in a guardian of girls that let's say they're the bougie girls and they have it all together you come into that situation knowing who you are you're not in a bad position but you aren't there yes on their level right there's a thing in your head that might make you want to you know act the part play the role be who they are just fitting do you get what i mean and as much as that might seem harmless when you leave that gadget it's hard for you to completely switch back into who you were before you made that change if, you, if that makes sense and each time you do that every time you have to tweak yourself to be who you aren't it is hard for you to go back to who you truly are because you pick pieces along the way and it molds and forms someone completely different from who you were created to be sis it is not worth it people that want to be in your life will be in your life regardless of how you look how you speak who you are what type of character you have and i'm not saying this in a way where it's like you're a bad person and you just have to accept being bad no i mean people are created differently like i could be weird to so many people actually i am weird to so many people i act weird to so many people i used to bother so much about why so certain people wouldn't understand me i most of the time feel misunderstood and it will hurt me so much so much i'm just like why can't they get it why can't they see it no sis it's because they aren't you and they will never be you they can't fully understand what they do not have experience with they can't fully understand who you are because you are one person created by yourself as an individual brought into this life you need to accept that not everyone would be in your corner not everyone would love you the way you want them to love you you need to understand that not everyone is going to accept your true self not everyone is going to accept who you are as a person your opinions your thoughts how you decide to live your life good or bad actually not everyone will see it not everyone will see the vision but to be honest that's not for them to see anyway it isn't it's just for you to see for you to understand and for you to know exactly where the end point is and that's where you're going all these things along the road they are distractions i'm gonna give small examples like trying to speak a certain way just because that's generally accepted or that makes you seem cooler trying to hang out with certain people because you know what i might not feel their vibes but you know like hanging with them makes me look cool i have to 
tweak the way I behave or my my manners or character around these people just to feel accepted. You don't need it. Trust me, been there, done that. You don't need it. However it is that you come, your full package and all imperfections, whatever. There are people out there that they don't understand, they can't understand fully, but they will accept you. But first, you need to accept yourself. You need to accept yourself for who you truly are. Then those people that you attract, the ones that are meant to be in your life, will come. They will come. Be who you are. Speak how you speak. Behave how you behave as long as you're respecting people and you're not hurting people. It is fine. 100 percent it is fine it is okay i am at that position in my life where i do not care <laughs> i'm lucky to be blessed with a few friends that actually do understand me like to be honest i grew up not needing friends actually not wanting friends because to be honest you do need friends but you have to make the decision to want them but not necessarily need them am i making sense need is basically what you can't like you can't leave without but you shouldn't be able to not live without something or someone do you get what i mean but wanting things is like obviously like i can definitely do without it but i want it you can do without a man you do not need a man but you want a man that's the kind of mentality you should have right all through my life i never wanted a friend not like i didn't want a friend it's just i just thought i was better off alone right and i will speak to myself i made several mistakes you guys i've told you before as i'm like this i'm gonna i'm going to be talking about so many things that would hit home for so many people and i am not embarrassed or i don't feel the type of way talking about these things because i know that i'm helping you guys and if we can share our stories we're help we're gonna help a lot of people so i don't mind like i said because i felt like I'm the only one that could understand myself. That's a good thing, but a bad thing because I'm saying own yourself, accept yourself, but that doesn't mean that you're going to completely detach from the people in your life or detach from the outside world. That's not what I'm saying. I would say that I don't need friends, I don't need friends, I don't need friends. So I wouldn't make friends with the intention of keeping them long term or loving them. I don't even think I understood what it meant to love a friend genuinely, right? I didn't think that because I'm just like you're not gonna understand me just probably like my vibes and all of that that's it now I'm at that point where I have friends that I love like I love because despite my shortcomings despite my stupidity despite my my misery despite how much of a mess that I might seem there are people that yeah they're like you're fucked up you're doing this you're doing that that you shouldn't be doing but I love you anyway shout out to Dikan. now the thing is i do have friends in my life that now it's not a big circle but i do appreciate them in my life i do i do so you would always find your tribe you would always find people that would accept you imperfections and all be who you are accept your true self accept who you truly are you don't like something you don't like something you can't be like this you simply cannot People who don't understand you, people who don't accept you, it's fine. You find your people. Stop trying to make people like you. Just stop. My fourth recommendation will be for you to set goals for yourself. I have spoken about this in different aspects. So financial goals, targets, and all of that. I say this because you have something that you're working towards. And when you have nothing that you're working towards, my love, you're going to be everywhere. You're going to be everywhere doing everything, but not actually doing anything. You need to set goals. You need to know targets. I'm aiming at this. I'm shooting at this. That's where I'm going. So when I'm working on myself, when I'm working on this journey, when I'm working through this, this is where I'm headed, right? When you have that, you go back every single week, every single month. You tell yourself, okay, Self-care goals, I have this, focusing on myself, you know what, I'm gonna do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, how many countries have I gone to? Just that stuff, set the goals, write it down. As I'm speaking to you right now, honestly, if you could take like a few seconds to grab a pen, grab a paper, pause the video, write your goals. What do I want for myself? 
and now when i mean the things that you want for yourself i mean the things that you can give yourself things that you want to give yourself what do you want do you want to appreciate yourself more do you want to change your style do you want to treat yourself more which to be honest you should sis you should no one can love you better than you can love yourself and i can understand your spouse would do his best if he's the right man for you he will try and do his best to love you in the best possible way that will be okay for you but realistically speaking he will not get it right he's human he's human you are the one that can love yourself in every way that would make sense and you will feel genuine happiness why would you want to rub yourself off that why don't you want the happiness don't you want the feeling inside don't you want all of that you can give yourself that which you seek from somebody else set the goals sit here i'm going this i'm doing this this week i'm doing this next week i'm doing this once every month put the things things that you're comfortable with things that make you happy write it down and tick them off one after the other my last point and this one i've spoken about before because i had a problem with it but learn to say no this could be hard to be honest i didn't even think it was hard you know how it's just like it's either you say yes or no black and white like come on do you want pizza or not yes or no you never know how difficult it is to say no until you're placed in different situations or you look back at all the times that you have said no if you start to count it when did i say yes and when did i say no i am very sure the yes is more than the no because why as a good person you'd always just want to make the next person feel good you don't want to disappoint anybody you don't want to be that one person that's going to cause the next person to not have a smile on their face so what you will compromise you will shrink yourself you will say yes even in situations where those don't even make sense to you now learn to say no if for anything let the amount of times that you say yes and the amount of times you say no let it just level up let it be 50 50. but for me being that i have made that decision to be as selfish as possible to protect myself i definitely know that my nose have to be slightly more than my yeses like it just has to be because i am not a people pleaser and you shouldn't be a people pleaser as, as well you cannot hurt yourself one billion times to accommodate somebody else that like, most people doesn't even care about you if i'm being honest people can be selfish you can too but not in a bad way respectfully to be honest learn to create that boundary around yourself circle yourself put yourself in the middle and draw like a circle around it and be like i only let people or things get into the circle when i want to when i want something done it gets done when i want someone in they're in and when i don't they're out there could be instances where you have to compromise or shrink yourself here and there but nothing too much that it disturbs your peace and that's the kind of mindset that you should have it is my company it is my life it is my firm it's my investment it's my empire i decide when i hire someone when i fire someone when i promote someone that's just what it is so if i don't feel like you're worth it you're not coming in if i feel like i am not feeling it today my answer is no it doesn't matter how much blood you shed i'm not going to inconvenience myself for you and for the most part it could sound really selfish but you do realize that the amount of times that you think about this too much you are putting yourself in a position to get hurt that um that two minutes that five minutes you, you analyze whether or not you should really really accept that offer or go out with that person at the end of the day you say yes you get hurt you're doing something that you don't want to do they get their way and how many times do you get to do that how many times do you get to put yourself in that situation where you're constantly shrinking yourself to accommodate people and things events situations that do not even have any business in your life how many times 
listen i learned this the hard way and i could come off i see how i could come off as you know selfish but girl it is what it is now you have family you have friends that you care about you have loved ones and there are times where you would want to help out you want to put yourself in slightly uncomfortable situations that's fine i could literally send my family my last card that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about the ones that are absolutely unnecessary and you do it anyway just cause you don't know how to say no let today be the first day of a new chapter in your life let today that you're watching this video be the first day of putting yourself first let today be the first day that you tell yourself from this day henceforth it is me and nobody else what i like what i want to do what makes me happy however it makes me happy as long as i am not hurting somebody else as long as i'm being a good person as long as i'm being positive as long as i'm spreading love and light into people's lives i come first my needs my wants and everything else they do come first now that's basically everything i have for this video i could do a part two if you want more i feel like i'm owing you guys a lot of part twos actually but anyway this one is not going to be any different if you want me to speak extensively about this topic let me know in the comment section below let me know your thoughts let me know your experiences let me know everything that you think about you know the points that i gave in this video and i would definitely definitely respond to you guys chit chat with you guys in the comment section below if you're not following me on instagram sis go ahead and follow me on instagram because you know what when i'm not here i'm usually there and obviously vice versa subscribe to the channel girl if you're not subscribed already and you're watching this video what are you doing subscribe to the channel like i said earlier we always have a good time thank you thank you thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one Bye.